Mamiya 7 Mark II video tutorial. Loading film and basic operation. The Mamiya 7 is a medium format rangefinder camera which takes 120 or 220 roll film. It has a frame size of 6 by 7 centimeters and you can shoot 10 exposures on 120 roll film or 20 exposures on 220 roll film. So before we start, it's really important to be able to check the battery and make sure it's working fine. So to do this, we need to, first of all, turn the camera on. And this is done here, where we use the power lever switch around the shutter button. And you move it to the white dot, so they are matched up. Then you need to adjust the shutter speed dial so that the A mode is um, selected. Then you simply touch the shutter button and you should be able to see illuminated in the eye viewfinder there, a red light. If this is on continuously, the battery is good. If it is flashing or it is not on at all, then you need to replace the battery. Loading film. So you need to release the camera back cover and simply press the back cover release button here on the left hand side and move the latch at the same time. The back will pop open here and we can see the inside of the camera where we have uh, a spool, a spare spool here. This should be remaining from the previous roll of film that was exposed. The, um, the shutter light curtain or light shield curtain is here. Please do not touch that because that could possibly damage the camera. So what we need to do is to release the spare spool by sliding the spool release lever to the left. The button will pop down here and that means that the stud here is now released and we can remove our spool. On the other side, release uh, the, the stud release lever once more and then place the take up spool in here. Lock that in. Take a roll of your film of choice. I'm using FP4. Make sure that this is placed in and so that it's orientated so that you can read the writing correctly and you pass the film carefully over and slot it into the take up spool on the right hand side. Ensure that the film sits evenly between the flanges of the spool and then just wind on using the film advance lever And you will notice this double-headed arrow, which is on the backing paper. And this is the starting indicator. So the, the starting indicator will need to match up with the arrow here, which is again the start indicator. With those matched up, you are now ready to shut the back cover and using the film advance lever, just wind on, you can see in the window here, the film advance window, there are a series of arrows and you just wind on until it can wind on no further, which will be indicated by the number one, which is the first exposure. Next, you need to make sure that you set the film speed or ISO according to your film. So it's a good idea to tear off the film box end, place it in the memo clip as, as a reminder. The ISO for this film is 125, so I simply, on the shutter button dial, lift 
the nailed wheel around the outside of this and adjust this to 125. I am now set. Finally, if you place your button, the finger on the button in the middle and turn to unlock, you have now unlocked from the A mode and we have the full manual mode. So there are a few functions that are important to understand with the Mamiya 7. Shutter speed is controlled by moving the shutter speed dial here. And exposure compensation can be achieved by pressing and holding the exposure compensation button and moving the scale up or down to plus or minus two stops of exposure. Aperture control is achieved with the aperture ring at the front of the lens. We recommend using a separate Sarconic light meter to gain your exposure values. Focus can be achieved with the focus ring, the manual focus ring. And focus can be seen in the viewfinder. Rangefinder cameras are offset from between the lens and the viewfinder. Uh, the image that you will see in here will be a, a double image that you need to align to get focus. There is a separate viewfinder available that fits to the hot shoe that gives a more accurate focus, perhaps. Um, okay, so, preparing to shoot. First of all, you need to advance the film. That's advanced. And then, I want to bring to your attention the underside of the camera where we have our light curtain uh, dial here and basically this will be in the closed position as indicated with this white marker and the small symbol that you might not be able to see that there. So we need to open the light curtain, light shield curtain and we do this by pulling this button down the dial will rotate to the open position. You can then happily take a shot at your desired settings. You can wind on and take another shot. Should you wish to stop shooting for a while, to prevent your film from being accidentally fogged or any kind of exposure, you then turn the dial. You need to wind it on first, obviously. Turn the dial and the curtain is closed. When you have finished shooting and you got to the final frame, in my case it's going to be 10 frames, when you, when you wind on with the film advance lever, it will become loose. Wind on for a number of times, uh, say around five or six, that will ensure that the film is carefully wrapped in the backing paper, ready for removal. And then it's going through the same process of removing the back, taking the spool or the exposed roll of film out, and then returning the use, the use spool into the right hand chamber, which will then become the take-up spool. A full manual is available at wsa.wiki.com forward slash photography.